today. My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for taking a minute and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make salsa verde chicken in the Instant Pot. Now, this is kind of a lazy recipe for me. It's a beautiful day. I normally should be outside smoking something, uh, barbecue something, sous vide something, <laughs> being outside, maybe on my new uh, Blackstone griddle. But you know what? I'm lazy today. And that's why I decided to do a recipe with the Instapot. And this is super easy. This is a great recipe just to throw things in. It only takes around 25 minutes to cook and you're done. And you're gonna have some delicious shredded chicken that you can use in a wide variety of things. You can make tacos, burritos, uh, you can make like a little um, shredded chicken bowl with some rice and beans. I mean, there's really a lot of options available. So as you can see, I got three giant chicken breasts, skinless. I have an onion. The key to this recipe is the salsa verde. And if you're unfamiliar, this is a green salsa uh, that uh, I really like. I like it better than the red stuff. And this is a uh, medium, you know, get whatever spice level you can handle. They have mild and medium. Uh, I'm going to put in a couple cans of green chilies because I love that. Some garlic. We have a little ground cumin, a little smoked paprika. Super easy, super delicious. So stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. So these are all the ingredients laid out. I'll just go over them real quick with you, but I'll leave the exact measurements down below in the video description. We have uh, three chicken breasts. Now the recipe calls for around two pounds of chicken breast. This is, uh, these three uh, weigh almost three and a half, so I'm doubling up on the recipe. So if you're doing uh, just two pounds, I would cut the recipe in half. I have uh, one tablespoon of minced garlic. I have one uh, small yellow onion chopped up. The original recipe calls for a 16, 16 ounce jar of the salsa verde. I got the bigger one, which is 24, so it's not quite double, but it's a little bit extra. I got two cans of the green chilies, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of smoked paprika. So that's pretty much all the ingredients, very easy. So we're gonna start off by putting our onion on the bottom and spread it out evenly. And then we're gonna lay these uh, chicken breasts down on top of the onion. Okay. And the cool thing about this is it pressure cooks. You don't really have to worry about mixing it too much. It'll kind of all simmer in its own juices. All right, so you got the chicken in there. Now I'm just gonna pour the ingredients on top. This is the garlic. I'm gonna put the salt. You know, you can sprinkle it around. You don't want to just dump it into one spot. The cumin. My wife Monica loves cumin. We got the smoked paprika. Now I'm going to add those two cans of uh, diced chilies, uh, the liquid and all. This is optional. If you don't like diced chilies, don't put it in there. But I just, I think it, it goes good with... Uh, the salsa verde, so that's why I add it. All right, and then last but not least, we're gonna put in the whole jar, like I said, 24 ounce of the green salsa verde. This is medium. I hope I won't be regretting this. <laughs> That's it. We're going to put the lid on here and seal it. So there you go. I just set it. 25 minutes. It's going to take a few minutes to kind of heat up the pressure. It'll probably be ready in around a half hour, 35 minutes. We'll be back shortly. All right, guys. Since I have 25 minutes uh, for that to cook, time for a beverage review. This is Boatswain American IPA. 6.7 Alcott's made in Monroe, Wisconsin, which is uh, just over the Illinois border. I've been there. Grew up in the suburbs of Chicago and this is a beer you can get at Trader Joe's it's very inexpensive so I'm gonna give it a shot all right and this is this is my son Kyle say hi hi he's gonna try something new that I just saw in the market this afternoon and this is Sprite Ginger 
It says it's a lemon, lime, and ginger flavored soda with other natural flavors. So I'm guessing it's kind of like Sprite mixed with uh, ginger ale. I can already picture how this is going to taste. Which is what I would guess. I love ginger. Kyle loves ginger. Ginger's amazing. You like the ginger sauce at Benihana, but you like the mustard sauce better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to give it a shot here. You want to open it? If anyone ever sees me at Benihana, they know I will... I'll use a little of the ginger, but mostly I empty out the honey, um, the mustard. The mustard sauce. Uh, like three or four times. Cause I just good stuff. Use huh? it over and over and over. All right, open yours up. You know. Also, fun. Benny Hanna is um, open now where we are. Yes. I don't know about where you guys are, but where we are, it's yeah. open. All right. Make sure this is carbonated. So don't be careful pouring it. You got it? Yeah, I just want to make sure it doesn't. You gotta give it a good one. Rip it off that thing. Oh, it smells weird. Let me pour it for you. I can pour it. Look, I just don't want it foaming all over the place. Alright. Oh, really I can weird. smell it. How's it smell? Good. How's it smell? Like Sprite or ginger ale? Um, ginger ale. Ginger ale? All right. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching my video. Cheers. You see, the color's very nice. Not impressed with the smell. <laughs> Doesn't really smell like anything. All right, guys. Again, cheers. Cheers, Kyle. That's why ours are different. Yours looks better, but mine smells like something. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Mm. Huh. Not what I would consider a typical IPA taste. It's kind of, uh, kind of, uh, strangely bitter, but not bitter in a, like a hoppy kind of way. I mean, I'm not really that impressed with this, to be completely honest with you. But I'll drink it. But I guess, you know, you have to have realistic, uh, realistic expectations when you're buying a six pack. I think it was, uh, Three ninety nine or four ninety nine. I think it was four ninety nine to six pack. So you gotta, you know, realize what you what you're getting. What about you, Kyle? Um, I don't even taste the ginger ale. It just tastes like Sprite. Yeah. It's really weird. Let me try. Like I can barely taste it. Well, it's got a little ginger kick at the end, but it does taste more like Sprite, huh? Mm-hmm. What do you think? If you had a choice between regular Sprite. And the Sprite with ginger, what would you get? I don't know. I, pr I probably... I mean, I might get this, but I don't know. They're, they taste basically the same. Okay. <laughs> well, he's not that impressed. But I have to say I'm not that impressed with this either. Of course, I'll drink it. It's a hot day. But it doesn't... I was looking forward to kind of a IPA tasting beer. This doesn't have that flavor profile. So I don't know. I don't know what's different about it, but uh, yeah, just not not uh, not particularly impressed. But that's okay. I'll still drink it because I like beer. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and finish our beverages here. This is starting to steam a little bit. I think it's almost reached pressure, so the timer should count down. We'll be back in around 25 minutes. It just click. Oh, I heard it click or do something. It's close. We'll enjoy our beverages. We'll meet back with you guys in around 25 minutes when this is ready. See you then. All right, it just beeped. Now I'm going to vent this. All right, we'll be back in a second. All right, it's finally done venting here. Now we're just going to remove the chicken, place it on here, and we're going to shred it with a couple forks. There we go. All right, we'll be back in a second. All right, here we are. Shredded up with some forks. Of course, I had to have a little sample. <laughs> it's very good. So we're gonna pour this into the liquid and just let it simmer a little bit till you're ready. 
I'll show you that in a second. All right, so here's the sauce. Give it a good stir. Oh man, smells wonderful. So now all we're gonna do is just pour that nice shredded chicken back into the sauce. I just set it on kind of low, keep warm setting. I think it defaults to that anyway. We're just gonna let some of this chicken absorb some of that delicious sauce. We'll give it a good stir. Be back in just a second. All right, there you go. It's all stirred into the sauce. Oh man, it looks wonderful. It smells great. It's got a little bit of a zip. All right, just keep this warm. And like I said, you can uh, do uh, a wide variety of things with it like this. You can even just put this in a bowl with some rice and beans. We're gonna make some uh, burritos and heat it up in the oven with some cheese. It's gonna be really good. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're gonna make some burritos and coat it with cheese here. So we have a flour tortilla out. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, beans and rice on these burritos. My wife Malika's making it. Yep, that's, oh, that's me. A, that's a lot of rice. Well, I'm gonna pack them a little bit. I mean, I got all this here anyway, so. Okay. Pack them up a little bit, and then we'll do some beans next. This is black and pinto, a little mashed and cooked together. I like it this way, a little bit creamier. All right, and then we'll put a little bit of the chicken. Ooh, yeah, let me give it a good stir. Get a little of the juices on it. Yeah, that looks good. Do a little bit of chicken. Look at that, that looks so good. And then we'll do a little bit of a, I've got some Mexican cheese that's like a Mexican blend. Every store's got it. And then I've got a sharp cheddar, which we really like a lot. Put a little bit of sharp cheddar in there. And then that, that puppy is ready to go. So we're going to roll it up and put it in our pan to bake and make some wet chili, chicken chili verde burritos. Watch this. Give it a good roll. Just like that. Boom. Got a nice little burrito there. I'm going to stick it in our pan. And we go on to the next. I'm going to do that all the way across and we'll be right back. All right, so we got four beautiful burritos. And Monica's going to spoon some uh, green chili enchilada sauce on top. Yeah, just kind of stuff right here. I mean, any brand is good, but this is kind of your basic. And it's good, it's mild. Not too much. It's not too spicy, which I like. Pretty mild. Does it come in different? Yeah, I mean, I think you can get it in medium and and hot. All I right. think this one is a all right mild. So yeah. I'm gonna, I just want to make sure I get the ends too, so it doesn't get too uh, burnt or crispy on one end. But if you like it that way, you don't put it on the end. There we go. All right. So now I'm gonna just top it with some cheese. So I'm going to use some sharp cheddar. Just do enough. I like, we all like cheese in this house, so. We're just going to give it a good topping so it melts good. And then we'll go get some uh, Mexican cheese like we put inside. Get a little topping of Mexican. And then what do you have the oven set at? 350. 350? It's going to cook at 350 for about 15 minutes. All right. Just to melt the cheese, really. I mean, everything else is cooked. All right, man. That so, looks good. There we go. Let's do it. Let's get it in the oven. All right. All right, here we are. Let's scoop some out. Be careful. I'm going to try. It's hot. It is hot. The cheese was bubbling when we oh pulled gosh, it out. But it looks so good. You almost need another one. No, I got it. Oh, you I got, got it? it? Okay. Yeah, I think so. 
Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm doing it very carefully. I'll bring it back in the camera in a second. There you go. Here we go. See that? Oh, yeah. That's one. All right, let's uh, plate up that second one. One second, get it all nice. It's hard to do without messing it up, so you gotta be careful. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Woo! Looks good. Right all right, then the last thing, at least what I like and Monica likes too, we get a little bit of uh, chopped up fresh cilantro, we'll sprinkle on there. Give it a little flavor and a little color. There you go. And then of course, last but not least, Monica's not satisfied unless there's a big dollop of sour cream. Dollop. <laughs> you and your Chicago accent. Yep. Gotta have some sour cream on that, right? So that's what we made with our uh, Chili Verde chicken. Yep. Or salsa, Let's, salsa verde, I should say. Yeah, salsa verde chicken burritos. Yeah, that's what we did with our salsa verde chicken burritos. But I have some plans to do other things yeah. with that. Taquitos, like taquitos, quesadillas. Yeah, that's my plan, taquitos and quesadillas. Mm. Look at these. All right, we'll uh, give these a try in just a second. All right, here I am with my wife, Monica. Hi. These beautiful salsa verde chicken burritos. Mm. <laughs> That she's plated it up with some fresh cilantro. Okay, let's give it a shot. It. Let's give it a shot. Got to kind of cut in that opening piece here. Yummy. A little bit of sour cream. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. I mean, I'm telling you, I love. Mm-hmm. I love that green salsa. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. So that is restaurant quality. Oh, it is. I didn't think it would be that good. This is good. And you wow, some, it was so easy to make. Yeah, just a few ingredients. You throw it in the Instant Pot. We had two kids to put to bed, and we still managed to do it and have a nice plated meal, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. And putting the rice and beans inside means you don't need to have it on the side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I prefer that. I don't know why. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to eat the whole burrito on film, but... Man. This was really good. Really good. The chicken inside is winner. delicious. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that's as good as a Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. mm. As always, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. It's really I'm good. still chewy. <laughs> so good. I would love it if you would consider subscribing, and I'll leave a link above to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, guys. Bye. If you have, if you have an Instapot, try this. Oh, yeah, yeah, Instapot, totally. But you try can probably make it other ways, too. But. Oh, yeah. You can totally make this in the slow cooker. Just put it on, you know, low yeah. for six to seven hours, high for four or five. Yeah, and then yeah. you make your rice on the side and Same heat result. up some beans. And, yeah. yeah, you could do that. Really good, though. Worth it. Well worth it. Again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mm. So good. I might eat that other one. This is good. Yeah, it is good, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm.